account of what's, uh, what's going on. During a La Nina year, temperatures tend to be significantly uh, colder than during a uh, normal year and much colder than during an El Nino year. This is the warmest La Nina year on record. So, in other words, despite the fact that uh, we had a La Nina, 2011 was still amongst the 10 warmest years. The cooling of La Nina is strongest over the uh, near equatorial Pacific, but it has an impact almost globally. It has impact on many other parts of the world. So please keep that in mind. Despite the La Nina, it was a very, very warm uh, year. Many parts of the world saw extremely warm temperature. For example, um, over Russia, in particular over the uh, northern part of, uh, of Russia, um, it was above, it was more than three to four degrees above average in a number of places. So extremely warm uh, uh, temperature. The ice in the Arctic continues to melt. And in 2011, it was not the record, but it was the second lowest extent, extent of ice in the Arctic. And it was, although it is somewhat more difficult to measure, it was most likely the smallest volume of ice in the Arctic.